face right now. They're just, they've been just destroying people. Uh, um, but honestly, you know, I think that Frosty does have a good opportunity here if they catch some of their recent form and keep it up. Yeah. Uh, the Frosty guys over there, they're all really solid, so I'm excited to see Absolutely. them perform out here. And maybe they can give yeah. uh, Alpha a run for their money that they're not expecting. Yeah, I think the the big issue is going to be, and you know, obviously we've seen Frosty, I think, a couple times since their recent loss of Merc. Um, and the big issue is just being able to sustain play. Uh, not to point fingers or anything at Hazmat, but the team did play differently before, and yeah. I think they're, they're just going to have to watch out for the inconsistencies that may come from having to work with a essentially new team or new chemistry at least. Yeah, they've definitely been uh, keeping it up here for a minute. So, well, All right. Looks like red team's gonna try to make some uh, offense right here. Poseidon setting this one center, putting them in a bad position. Ooh. Hazmat was up for a shot back to Poseidon, and that one's gonna be sent away by Dijon. That was excellent the play there. Exactly. Really close opportunity, but a nice last minute save there. Soul is looking to do something, but Poseidon's there to stop it, but Hazmat is there to keep it downfield. It looks like most of Blue is back now, getting the demo. They're going to set this one up center, but no one's there, and Red's going to... Looks like they're going to sit on defense for a little bit too long, but they got the clear in the end, so that's good. Ooh. Close play from Dijon there. Smartly read it up the wall. Yeah, Hazmat pushing this one downfield, but that one's going to be pushed away by Solis into the corner. No one on Blue's there to go for a shot, and Posey's going to try to take this one downfield and get a second touch. He does, but doesn't get anything good out of the angle. Hazmat went in the 50 with Flitz, but Solis is there to stop that one right away. Flitz looking to get something on Pugsy, but they got like a little stuff. Solis going for something fancy, but Hazmat was there. This could be... Oh, you go ahead. Oh, no, you, you can go ahead. Go ahead. I was going to say, definitely quick to cut out the opportunities there. It seems like Frosty's really um, uh, angling to stop the connection between Solus and Flitz. Um, yeah, which is, I would say, the main lifeline of the, that team. So right. they're doing it well so far, keeping them to 0-0. Zero, zero. But on the return, Alpha's doing the same thing to uh, Frosty, not letting them set up for any passes. Right now, it's just pretty much battle of the defense. Absolutely. Noticing a little bit of a boost inconsistency with Dijon a few times. He's been just caught a little bit up there with some boost and has taken a long way back. Yeah. Um, but still working out for them. Poseidon Ooh. going up for shot and he gets a little whiff right there. Solis going for a pinch off the wall, sending this one downfield, looking for a double touch, but Hazmat is there to stop it. Flitz putting it in a dangerous position for Poseidon to score it on him, but it was a little bit too angled downwards to the ground. Flitz oh, putting this one up for Dijon, oh, yeah. but Dijon with a big whiff, miss opportunity there. Solis getting a pinch off the wall. That was a beautiful pinch and a beautiful save by Pugsy there. Pugsy pushing this one down, but Dijon was there to get it away. Flitz pushing Dijon out the way. I don't know if you caught that one. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah, that was a good hit there. Dijon looking to get a shot off here. It was potentially in. No one moved on uh, Frosty on that play. Good spacing out from Frosty, though, really recognizing that at least somebody's getting set up on that and another person's ready to take up on the wall if the, uh, yeah. if the opposition gets a big clear, or at least a big center. Dijon looking to make something happen. Solis there kind of cutting Dijon off and forcing him into a double commit. But Flitz is there to keep the pressure up. He's pushing that one up Ooh. center. It's an open shot, but Flitz oh. is going to send that one high. He added his hands there and kind of just gave it up. There's been a lot of scoring opportunities missed this game, like in insanely close. Yep. Here's another Dijon potential. looking to push this one into the center, but Poseidon was there to push that one away. Flitz continuing the pressure, but Poseidon oh. going to try to carry it, but pushes it straight into Pugsy. That is not what you want in this situation. <laughs> An unfortunate own goal there. I think uh, Poseidon's been actually the one to hang out on the wall quite a bit and stop that initial play, but this time it gave him yeah. a rough uh, reaction needed there. Yeah, it sent downwards and just put it in an awful, awful yeah. position. Oh, there's an opportunity. 
Solus looking to do something with this, but gets a mistouch, leaving it open for Poseidon to pass over to Pugsy, but Pugsy could not get the angle. But Poseidon's going to push this one back Ooh. into net. No one was there from Alpha. I think they were all waiting to, for the ball to be cleared. Again, I think the issue here is Dijon just found himself forward with no boost, and he was the guy to potentially get back and help them out. But Yeah, he didn't have time to rotate. For that mid boost. Surprised we haven't seen like any uh, crazy shots or anything. And I mean, it's pretty much been just a stuff game. Everyone's stuffing each yeah. other. It's been Flitz really trying to make those passes go through to Solus and yeah. hasn't yeah. really been connecting too well. And we're gonna go into overtime in game one. That's what I like to see. Solus winning this kickoff potentially. Ooh. He just went for the boost. If he, I think if he would have played ball, he could have had them. Yep. Flitz looking to send no. this one down, but Poseidon's there. Flitz winning the 50-50, but I don't think any of Alpha are there to capitalize on this ball. Solus going mm. for something fancy. <laughs> he looked like a Prey Mantis <laughs> just hopping about. Definitely wanted to finish with style. Yeah, it looked Ooh. like it. Poseidon getting Seven a carry. Whew. That was a close one. Solus getting a whiff on his clear there. Well, an interesting attempt from Hazmat. I don't know if he really should have been the guy to go up there, but Poseidon really had patience and cleared the ball out. Dijon with the big whiff. This could be bad as it was only Solus back and he is retreating. But it looked like uh, Frosty gave him too much time and he just pushed it away. Too much hesitation from Poseidon there. Yeah, just any little bit of pressure to keep uh, Solus on his toes. You pretty much gave him all day. Mm -hmm. Let's go in for a nice double touch there, but it. Just a little bit off. Oh, setting Dijon up. Oh, yeah. It's a close miss there. Solus bringing this one up the wall, looking for another touch. Carries it under Hazmat, <laughs> but Poseidon was there to stop it. He's gonna Dijon's looking to send this one back. Yeah. <laughs> Poseidon looking oh, to dribble Poseidon this one up on Solus. Gets a flick, but Solus was there to stop that one. I think if he would have held his flick a little bit longer and potentially push Solus into the net, he could have had it. Probably. Smart play from Solus, though, to wait. Yeah. Force the move there. Ooh, that was oh. a close ah. shot from Dijon. Oh, and now Hazmat. This one's going to drop in front of Red's net, but no one was there from uh, Alpha to block that one. Good 50 from Poseidon. And it's smartly blocked out by Dijon. Right here, Solus and Flitz working together on the side, but they're on the same side, and now the rotation's a little off. Yeah. Poseidon looking to finish Ooh. this one here with a double touch, but could not get it, and Pugsy could not get the follow up. Hazmat looking to put some pressure on there, but Solus gets it past him, and two defenders as Poseidon's on the retreat. Getting it past Pugsy, this one was open for Dijon, but he just didn't have the power and the angle for that one. Poseidon looking to get this one back into blue side. It's just him versus Solus at this point. Hazmat almost got a nice shot, but Solus was there. Perfect timing just to stuff him. Hazmat's getting a lot more offensive pressure here. Oh, as I say that, the ball comes back, and now it's on Hazmat again. <laughs> Clear attempt, but Solus. Oh, this is leaving it open. It's oh. Still in a dangerous up. This is dangerous for Frosty right I here. I really think that could win there if Solus had actually let Flip take that shot. Still dangerous for you, Frosty. Come on, get it out of there. You gotta get it out of there. <laughs> Touch the ball. Just get it out of there. Nah, no, come cool. on. Keep touching. Just get it out. <laughs> They're gonna keep pressure on you. You can't I do it. Double commit. Oh, oh, it's goodness. looking good. Can decide to get another touch over Solus. He can, but kind of stops it and Solus blocked him. Pugsy looking to clear it in. Poseidon taking the shot, but Solus is there to block that one as well. Flitz stealing Hazmat's Quite boost. Quite okay. a bit of frantic defense there from now, but I, I think they have some consistency. Oh, and as I say that, oh, so close. Poseidon wanted to do something with that. Flitz oh, well, pushing this one down to Hazmat and right past Hazmat. So what a way to end this game. An unfortunate miss from Haz. He had the right positioning being the last man, but it just seems like he went up too late. Yeah, he uh, 
I, maybe he thought it was gonna hit the oh no boost live wow. from the field no boost that was a good game definitely a good game first game going Very to alpha good. Now, now, what are your predictions? You still think Alpha is oh. going to 2-0, or you you think Frosty I mean, I think could pull a game? lot of opportunities for Alpha to take this in the beginning, uh, especially in the beginning of the overtime. There were a lot of instances of just weird double commits where both Solus and Dijon would cut in front of Flitz, who clearly had the open net. But um, I, I still think it's going to Alpha. But Frosty, you know, might with a fire underneath them start to working again with Poseidon and Pugs for those passing plays. Hopefully, they'll cut out the own goals. It seemed to be the, one of the issues that led to the loss. Yeah, just not getting the right touches and being in the wrong position yeah. on that one. But, yeah, we're waiting for a Poseidon to get his water. As you can okay. see in the chat, uh, the god of water needs water. So <laughs> that that's where we're at in this situation. Yeah, got to stay healthy for these you know, long series. Yeah, how do you like being on that end? <laughs> Just trying to ask Hazmat. Oh, already joined up here. And we are all in. Soul is blocking Hazmat early. It's looking to get something off of this, but Pugsy was there to stop it. Quick interception. And a miss now, though, Dijon. Hazmat pushing this one out. Solis looking to get another touch on this, but Poseidon is very patient. Not going to let it get dunked on him. Pugsy sending this one to Poseidon, but Flitz was there to block that. Hazmat looking for a shot. And looks like Pugsy is going to have to play a little bit of defense against Flitz here. And Solis. But now he's looking for the shot from the pass from Poseidon. Can he get it? No, he cannot. Ooh, even if it wasn't a good shot, it turned out to be an excellent pass, but they still couldn't quite make the, the final shot in the net. Yeah, Pugsy looking to get this one off of his side with a big whiff there. Flitz looking to That's set something up center. Has been. A play from house. That could have been a shot right there. Potentially a goal. Flitz pushing this one down over Poseidon's head. Solis taking a shot, but nothing there. Dijon taking a shot, but Poseidon's there to block it. <laughs> oh, nice interception from Hazler. Oh, close opportunity. I'd like to point out that both of these teams have stellar defense. And Absolutely. Like... I wouldn't say defense, but like more they can cut off plays really quick. If yeah, you would call that defense. Field pressure, essentially. Yeah. And then they have the follow up. Yeah. And also an equal connection between, I mean, I definitely still notice a, a big connection between Poseidon and Bugsy, um, but also Alpha and Solos. You see those midfield plays where they're Poseidon, either of the duos essentially are just ready to rotate in and accept a pass from another player really causing a lot of problems in the offense. Yeah. Hazmat looking for something, but him and Flitz missed. Dijon looking to set up Flitz, but it was a little bit too high for him to get to it. Deciding sending this one over Flitz. Now all three of Frosty are up. This could be bad if they can get a, if uh, Alpha can get a big clear on this, but they can't. So Pugsy's gonna send this one center. Flitz getting a weird touch. Can he keep, yeah, he got it over, so. Getting it out of the danger zone. Oh, has going up. Lincoln was saying 2 1. Close, it's a tempo. <laughs> 3 minutes, 35 second OT. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually enjoying, I think, uh, ever since the overtime in game one, has not started to uh, really pushing up more on offense, and it's definitely made a bit more creativity. On Frosty side, um, yeah, but more, still, more opportunities. More, yeah, it's causing a little bit more of a risky situation, especially in that panic of game one, and now randomly hear some panics on defense. Yeah, if they can get their rotation solid with the uh, more aggressiveness, they could definitely be a threat to yeah. Alpha. A few double commits are causing some issues for them. 
Yeah, and oh, they just need... Z back. Poseidon's gonna push this one away. Gonna try yeah, to get it past time. one. But Flitz is gonna push this one center. Pugsy getting a, a back touch on it, leaving it in the danger zone. They're gonna take a shot, but Poseidon's My gonna goodness. block it, but the John was there to follow that one up. <laughs> that was that was a little little clustery. A little risky. The second time I've seen Hazmat get a little flustered and just go backwards to try to save it. Um, it was a fortunate situation to put him in, but but really did not work out for them. A little bit of aggressiveness coming out from Frosty here. Ooh, Flitz was there for the shot but sent it the wrong way. That could have been he very upsetting. Muscled his way in there though, really set his team up. Yeah, Dijon stepping it up now, trying to... Absolutely. One of the biggest things about Alpha that's really helped him succeed in the absence of Wreck is Dijon. I mean, he's obviously been the replacement, but he's really, he's really held up his end and allowed a Flitz and Solus to do their thing, essentially. You can see that in the last stream of Storm vs. Alpha, that was very apparent. <laughs> yeah, we don't need to talk about that right now. <laughs> <laughs> it was just brutal. Yeah. Oh, now we see an opportunity here. Oh, but a bump on Solus from Pugsy definitely cut any opportunity out. Oh. Could have been something there. Solus is now double. Uh, I just backflip there on his double jump. Yeah, double commit right there coming out from Frosty. May mm -hmm. this game may be ending here. Frosty cannot step this up and no. go 2-0 oh. to Alpha. Final Poseidon seconds. has no boost. He's going for a ceiling shot. He sets up his team, but that's <laughs> game. That that was the last one you got, but it was not enough. They were all ready Close for it. Close to 10. Could see him starting to form something there, but uh, the stellar defense of Alpha won out again. Yeah.